Hey, you see these things? They can run Adobe Lightroom, and you can too after this helpful video. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ryan. I'm here today with my, uh, my, uh, my head today, because it's in the right spot, like it should be. And I want to talk about my photos that I've taken over the past year, because I think the journey I've taken on uh, photography has been interesting. It's been self-taught as well. Uh, I've taken no classes about photography. I've uh, just learned how to use uh, use uh, Lightroom. Lightroom is the main app I use to edit my photos, by the way. I've learned to use Lightroom all by myself, uh, except for maybe a few YouTube videos here and there, but that's really not but the point. Um, and I, I just want to talk about wh how I've gotten to where I am today, because I sound like some young, like, Fortune 100 CEO. How I've gotten today, I, I just, I invested in Bitcoin. So basically, I just want to show you some pictures I've taken today, and um, just kind of go over how I mess with them in Lightroom, because I think Lightroom is honestly the backbone of how my photos look good. You know, that's really how, I really feel like that's how every photo looks good, to be honest. Like, you have to edit it, really, to make it look nice. But yeah, I, I can't go back to not editing my photos, because my third eye has just been open for this shit. And I just like it a lot. I think that um, photography is really fun. And I just, I want to show you, I just want to talk about it, because it's, it's like my new passion, kind of. There's video, there's video stuff, and there's like this stuff, which is more, more low-key. Like, there's not much you have to do to photos, but... I just, I like it a lot. So, you know what, let me show you what's going on here. Hey, all right, so here I am on my iPad. I'm on my iPad now, because that's where I mainly use Lightroom. So I want to show you. Here's Lightroom. Oh, it's so beautiful. Dude, look at this. Oh, yes. So it just shows you all the photos I've edited, just all the random ones. And I want to show you... Well, actually, let me check something. All right, so this is just some random photo I've taken in Lightroom. So here we go. So this is an iPhone photo. You see, it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, it looks nice, but you got this, you got this problem area right here which is like the whole whole screen so what we do is you enable lens corrections which i don't really know what this does i mean it like it like pops the photo back into place which i like it's already cropped to four by three i like four by three for my photos that's just my personal touch though and i'm going to change the white balance to daylight so this is also a raw photo it says apple pro raw right here um so already there's a bit of an improvement there that I see, at least. I don't know if you do. It just looks less orange. It looks... Because these clouds up here were pink that night, and then these were more... These are more yellowish. Or orange, I should say. So then, what I have to do is I like to take the highlights all the way down. There we go. Look at that. That is already looking better. Maybe just work the exposure up a little bit. Maybe do the contrast. Maybe do the shadows. Uh, I'll leave that the same. We're going to do that by one. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. So yeah, that already looks much better because you see it's not as exposed you can actually see some of the nice cloud details and then you go to color i like to do the vibrance a little bit go to saturation just just you know make it look a little bit nicer and i like to add some texture maybe some clarity and some dehazing and then maybe some grain i think grain makes it look more like a photograph took it which i do like so i mean you don't really need a lot of grain like just if you zoom in you like just notice it but not noticeable so look at that we've gone from this to this, which already looks way better. So, there's one final touch. No, this is not the final touch. There's some sharpening. I'll just do a little bit like, you know, 70. That's fine. Doesn't really do much, but I, I like doing it. So, the final touch of this is color grading, which I did not use for probably for months. But now that I know it's here, I'm like, holy crap, I'm never going to not use this ever again. So, you take this, you, you can mess with the colors of the photo. So you see, if you do it like this, you can, like a, like a rainbow effect. But I think it's better to do the blues first. Or, I mean, this more depends on the photo. So I think the main three colors of this photo are the pink right here, the yellow, orangish color, and then the blue of the sky. The grass doesn't really matter that much, because if you mess with it, it doesn't look... It doesn't change mostly at all. So you can mess with this, turn it a little bit, see what you like. Maybe more, it looks, I mean, it makes the sky look nicer. So if we go back, so I mean, look at that already. I mean, it's a bit more blue. It looks, at least to me, it looks a bit more blue. So then you go to the pinks a little bit, you know? Well, actually, this might be the yellow is a bit more, more of the yellow tones. And you can change the saturation a little bit. I think it's kind of nice to have it lower to make it look a bit more natural. Because, I mean, this does not look natural at all. Like an old orange sky. Yeah, I don't think so. So, you know, put it like to 16. We're gonna get the pinks in there, just to get the nice, to put the colors of these, these clouds right up here. 
Get that in there. And I think that might actually be all I do. That did not take very long, but I mean, as you use Lightroom, you know, it's gonna change as to how you take the photos and stuff, but that I think already looks better. Like, look at that. That looks so much nicer. Nice and color graded. I nice, had some grain. And you know, personally, this is how I do my photos. I think that is how it should look. And I like that a lot. So, you know, you can save it to your camera roll, you know, and you're done. That's all you have to do. <laughs> how cool is that? So that's really how I do my photos, but there's a few things I watched back the recording I did and I want to do a few key points as to what I missed that is important to really like enhancing your Lightroom experience. So let me tell you those. Number one, raw photos. These do not mess around. These photos, these raw file format photos are fantastic. You can take so much more creative control with a raw photo than a like a JPEG or a PNG. They can still get plenty of good effects with those photos, but if you take a raw photo, you can mess, you can have further enhancement to the white balance of the photo, is what I found with Lightroom at least, because if you try to do a JPEG and change the white balance, there's only two options of auto and as shot. But if you do it with, if you take a raw photo and you put it in Lightroom, it does, they have all these presets for you, like daylight, fluorescent lighting, just all that other stuff like that. So raw photos you want to take. I, I take them on the camera primarily, and then I do them with my phone too. My phone, uh, you can do Apple Pro Raw, which is just a raw photo that Apple wanted to be fancy about. So you can do that with an iPhone 12 and up, I think, uh, from, from now on. It's not on the 11s, I know that much. So I think 12 and up, because I know we can do it on my 13. So yeah, raw photos. Use those if you want to really enhance your photos with Lightroom, because they do not mess around. They, they just, they're good. They're very good. Number two, I don't know if I already said this, but I love Lightroom on the iPad. I think it's just so much of a better app. Like on the computer, on the desktop, uh, it's not bad, but it's just a bit cluttered. I like all the buttons, they're kind of in different spots. And I don't know if I like that very much. Like this is a photo I took last night. I don't, I mean, you can mess with it. Sure, like all the same buttons are there, but I'd much rather prefer to use it on the iPad just because the iPad is just simple. Like you just touch the, you touch it and it really feels like you're interacting with the content more, which I think it just adds like a personal touch to me that I like a lot more, but you can use Lightroom on any computer, I'm sure, any, you can even use it on your phone, the same one that I just use on my iPad. So there's that too, but I do, yeah, I just prefer the iPad more. Number three, and this is computer exclusive. I don't, I don't think it's available on the iPad, but I want to show you this. So I guess I have to show you on my computer. So I'll we'll do that. All right, here we are on my computer. So this is a photo I took the other night. I would show it to you with uh, this photo right here, which I just actually tried it with. You see the two right there. Um, but it's not exactly what I wanted to show you, like the full capabilities of what I wanted to show you. So this is a computer only feature and it's called photo enhancing, which is really cool. So it's gonna generate the preview. I'll just tell you about it while it does that. So basically what it does is it uses AI to enhance your photo and double the resolution so let me show you. So this is a photo I took. Let me just zoom in a little bit, you know. Oh, there's a beat. Oh, we're done. Okay. So let me tell it to you. So it says, enhance using machine learning to improve the image quality. The result may be saved as a new DNG, which is just another raw photo. So basically what this does, is it says raw details right here. Automatically applied user using super, super resolution. I can't talk. I'm sorry. So yeah, it, it automatically applies this, which I don't really know exactly what this does. Uh, if we look at it here, it just adds more detail, I guess. But then there's super resolution, which is like the game changer feature. So this doubles the image resolution. So like, I'll, let me just enhance it real quick. Let me just show you. So it's faster if I just enhance it to show you. So like, here's the original photo. You know, if you zoom in on the moon, yeah, there's detail, you know, but you can easily get to points where it's pixelated right there. Like that's just the crater right there. Like you already got right there. It's already pixelated. So let's go to the enhanced version. Look at that, it's actually, okay, so here's wh where we were. Look like sand from Minecraft, oh my God. But look, look at that. Look at, you see that? Like, I mean, it's not like a huge improvement, but it it does look different. Like it makes it look better. I might be, I might be superstitious about this, but ever since I found this feature, all my photos have looked better, which I do think is true. So let me export it real quick, let me just show you. So here's the, here's the information for this photo. It is now a 8K 
I think this is 8K. It's, it's a higher resolution than 4K, I know that much. It's like maybe 7K, I don't know. Um, that's the dimensions of the photo, so... And that's the file size, so it definitely does something. Like, this does not mess around. Like, this feature is really cool. And I don't know if it's for everyone to use all the time. I don't even know if I'm gonna use it all the time. But ever since I found out, I'm like, okay, this is game changer. This is actually kind of huge. How cool is that? So I have a few more points I want to share about the enhancing photos feature. Let me just say those real quick. Number one, again, raw photos. They work beautifully for this. They are the, really the only reason to use that feature if, if you take a raw photo. You can enhance the resolution of any photo just by pressing the button and, you know, doing it, but it, it doubles, it enhances the details, which I showed you in the little, like the little glyph icon thing, not the glyph, the, the setting, the button to do the thing. The button to do the thing, it told you raw, raw details and super resolution, the two features which make that good. And then if you do it with a normal photo that's not compatible with like the raw photo format or like just any other photo, it will say just super resolution, it doesn't really enhance the details. So I think that's a good key thing to keep in the back of your mind if you ever take a photo and you're like, hmm, I have Lightroom. I can enhance this photo with a computer, which is kind of crazy. That's that's a huge feature. Actually, another thing about that's like the only thing I had to tell you about that. So yeah, raw photos, just just use raw photos if you're going to be like a big photographer person because they they can save your ass, man. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, they, they are so good. I love using raw photos. So what have we learned today? Enhancing photos is cool. Lightroom is cool. Adobe's not cool. Well, that's what we learned today. But anyways, besides that point, I've learned how to use photo. I've learned, I've learned how to use Lightroom, not Photoshop, just from messing around. I had no idea enhancing photos was a thing until I looked at Lightroom Classic. I had no idea color grading was a thing until I messed with it. And I messed the little dials around. I was like, "Ooh, if you do this fast, you get a lot of colors." But then I realized, if you do the other way, the way I showed you, you can actually get some cool effects. And I think it's something to keep in the back of your mind if you want to get into photography. Like. I had no idea what I was going to do with any of these photos, but now whenever I take a photo, I'm like, all right, I got to do all these things and then I got to make it look nice. And I do every time because I just mess around with Lightroom. And that's, I think, the, the biggest point of this video. Don't be afraid to mess around with Lightroom if you want to do anywhere. Like, I'm not, I'm not at all a professional photographer person, but the power of messing around with Lightroom or any app in general, like even Photoshop, just messing around, just te testing all the buttons, seeing what they do, it really does help quite a lot to see what you can accomplish with those apps. And I think that's a good thing. Be curious about those things, you know? I don't think I made any sense this video, but I wanna tell you about one thing I did to sign up for recently. Flickr, go look at my Flickr. I think I put it in the about section. I made a Flickr account to post some of my photos on. And I wanna tell you about it because you know, that's like my portfolio location where I'm gonna put all my photos. I just wanna tell you about that. That's where all the other photos I've taken will be. But this video is mainly about Lightroom and how I've used it because Lightroom is a very good app for editing photos. I love it. It's probably a 10 out of 10 out of the park app for me because I, I don't know how I'd live without it. I hope this video was interesting at all. I, I don't know. I just go on, on these tangents for forever and I want to tell someone about it. I had no idea that I was going to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, Lightroom is very powerful if you want to be a photographer. I don't even know if I want to be a photographer, it's just a fun hobby. Like, I, I love editing with the photos and making them look nice. Like, that's that just, it just is so nice to me. I like doing that. I hope this made sense and it helped you in some way. But I don't know if it did because I don't know if I make sense. So, I'm just going to stop talking. Look at my Flickr if you want to see my, more of my photos. Use Lightroom. It's so good. This is not a pay. This is not a. This is not a sponsorship video. I just like Lightroom a lot. I don't like Adobe, but you know, Photoshop's pretty good, and so is Lightroom. So you know. I'm gonna shut up now. Ha have a good rest of your day.